Let's look at one other issue. Now, this is obviously domain expertise with Anil. Now, three frontline spin bowlers in this Indian squad that is going. It's a big squad, 18 guys. I hope they've got their tickets reserved and everything in the flight. But uh, three frontline spinners all make a very strong case. Let us assume, Anil, that only one can break into the 11 and you've got to make that choice. What would that be? Ashwin. I think there's, there's no two ways to that. I mean, Ashwin brings in the experience, he's an off-spinner, mm. uh, there are many left-handers, I mean even to the right-handers you have Mitchell Stark coming in over the stumps uh, to, uh, to the right-handers, so there will be footmarks and, and that's something that you can utilize uh, on day two, day three, day four, yeah. especially in places like Adelaide where you know, generally the surface is very, uh, very hard and very firm uh, in, in, in the portion where the batsmen uh, want the ball to be. Right. So, so slightly away from that, I mean that's exactly why Nathan Lyon has been exceptionally uh, good uh, bowling in Australia. Yes. Uh, he gets the bounce and he also bowls the line to the right-hander which is slightly outside off stump where he uses the left arm uh, fast bowler's foot marks. So that's something that I'm sure Ashwin uh, will do that. So if it's only one spinner, he would be my choice. Can I give you the contrarian view? Ashwin started very well in England but then uh, petered off. In fact, had a test match where Moin Ali out bowled him and there was a lot of talk about that. Jadeja came in and did very well in that role, batted well as well. Uh, so would it be a little bit unfair to Ravindra Jadeja to sit out in case India only play the one spinner given that he made the most of his opportunity? Yeah, it is. It is, it is difficult. But I think you need to start off with, uh, you know, because they have so many left-handers yeah. and, and also the option of uh, Ashwin, uh, you know, bowling to the left-handers and we know how good he is uh, at picking up left-handers. Uh, so I think it's all important to make sure that uh, you give the confidence to your main bowlers. I want to also ask you about Kuldeep Yadav because here's uh, an interesting one in test cricket. He started off so well. You were coach at the time when you picked him in that test match at Dharamshala. Uh, he seems to do very well in uh, limited overs cricket. But uh, would you not be tempted to have someone like Kuldeep Yadav play test matches in Australia given that he's a bit of a novelty and also has um, has had success in the uh, in the T20s leading up to the series? Although I know that's totally different formats. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a tempting uh, you know, thing that you would want. Would you want to throw in Kuldeep? Yes, if you're playing five bowlers, two spinners, then Kuldeep would be your second choice. Adelaide, depending on the pitch, depending on the sides, because the sides are pretty short. Yeah. And I'm sure the Aussie batsmen will look to you know, take Kuldeep on to the side boundaries rather than straight. Uh, so, so that's something that you will uh, want to think of. But if you're playing Kuldeep, then you need to have another spinner at the other end. I won't play Kuldeep as a sole spinner. Mm. I would rather go with uh, Kuldeep with, with a backup of either a Jadeja or an Ashwin uh, backing up from the other end.